A Cumberland man tells me he ordered a Christmas gift for a friend which was on track to arrive before Christmas, but to his surprise embarked on a journey. Rather than wor worry about it, I thought it was more comical than anything else. Brian Malloy says he ordered a Christmas gift online for one of his friends. This coffee cup was perfect because uh, he loves he loves his dog. <laughs> Malloy says he ordered the item in early December and the package was on track to arrive in Cumberland before Christmas. He shared the tracking information with 12 Response, which shows it arrived at the Providence Distribution Center December 11th, but was then sent to Connecticut. I expected it at the next uh, scan point to turn around and come back to Providence, but it didn't. <laughs> Malloy says he kept tracking the package. He says it left Connecticut, made several stops in New Jersey before heading to Illinois. Once I saw it headed out to from the East Coast out to uh, uh, the central states, uh, uh, that's kiss that one goodbye. Malloy turned to 12 response for answers. And all I could think of was the post office was in, in total disarray. I brought his concerns to the U.S. Postal Service. Stephen Doherty tells me, quote, there's no logical reason a package would make that trip. Doherty did say during the holiday surge, postal employees are working hard to make sure items are delivered and went on to say, quote, we continue to flex our resources, which includes routing and offloading and locations that allow us to continue to stage, separate and sort different mail types as part of the historic volumes of mail. Now, if you run into a similar situation and have questions about the delivery of a package, the post office does have a customer care center open six days a week. That number is at WPRI.com. In studio, Gina Marini, 12 News.